keyword research is essentially a process of trying to understand what it is that people will be entering into a search engine or a social media network to try and find you. So this could be the attributes for a particular job, or it could be the aspirations or the fact that you are in a certain job. Having said that, you will be less likely as a student or a recent graduate to have every single thing that they are looking for. So this is why it's really important for you to show that you have the potential and you have the interest and you understand what you need to do for the job that you are trying to apply. The same thing when you are trying to get different contracts, the same thing when you are trying to think about yourself as an enterprise or an entrepreneur. If you don't have necessarily something, but you know that this is really important, still talking about this as something that you're working on is a really good thing to have. So for example, if your organizations are looking for a degree for a particular qualification, and you could say that you're working towards that qualification, then you have a really good uh, chance to potentially get that interview and speak to that company. So, the keyword research relies on four basic stages. When you're refining your keyword research, there are, first of all, the keyword that you're looking for has to be relevant. So the first point is relevancy. This relevance has to be to your personal business objective as well as the one that your potential buyer persona is looking for. It's quite a uh, subjective process for the decision making here. The second point that you're looking for in terms of your keyword research is specificity. When it comes to specificity, it's actually very simple to sort of think about how many words does this word comprise of. So for example, word marketing is just a single word but digital marketing manager in Paris, it's digital marketing manager in Paris, five words. So you can see digital marketing manager in Paris is five words, so it's far more specific. So if you really have the ambitions to uh, set to be a digital marketing manager in Paris, it's really useful for you to use that term rather than just marketing. Marketing will open, uh, open to you more opportunities, or there will be far more companies looking to, you know, for marketing help, but the trouble with that is that you are less likely to get that job that you're really interested in. So you might be getting offers from somebody in uh, Shanghai, for example, but you're not interested in that. There you go. So focus. The third point that you need to think about keyword research is popularity. How many people will actually be looking for that kind of content? So if you find one job that is mentioned a particular skill in certain something, uh, I don't know, 3D visualization, for example, but none of the other jobs are looking for this. So your chances are obviously reducing to get a job that is uh, quite useful. But obviously, if you're particularly interested in data visualization as a technique or as something that you want to do for your career, that's a great thing to do. And the last point is competition. How many other people are competing for that term? And this is where you really need to think about yourself as somebody who is trying to be a bit different from others. So if you look at other people who have uh, applied or who are looking for a similar career, will they be all trying to think about digital marketing manager in Paris? Or are there certain things that you want to be interested in, in so, uh, to differentiate yourself so that nobody else is able to offer? So this is where a data visualization uh, expert might be actually a very interesting thing for you to, to think about. So you need to compromise where you, whether you want to have a very niche kind of job where there aren't that many opportunities, but on the other hand, something that you're really passionate about, or if it is something that everybody else is going for. To summarize, keyword research is helping you to identify the terms that you need to think about in terms of the uh, relevance to your business objectives, uh, specificity, popularity, and competition.